$250 and up to 60% off the hottest clearance deals. Plus, get special financing for 60 months on any purchase with your good credit and get free shipping as soon as next day. It's all happening only at the Living Spaces Anniversary Event. Living Spaces! At Bite, we totally get it. You want the best for your smile, and you want it now. So straighten your teeth from home for thousands less than braces. Yeah, the choice is clear. Champions play here. Rebecca C. won over $31,000. Count on CarPros for a stress-free car buying experience with fully transparent pricing and great offers like this one. Lease a new 2023 Kia Niro EV Way for $199 per month. That's right, only $199 per month. Visit us, CarPros Kia, Moreno Valley. The Barnes Firm has years of experience handling thousands of car crash cases. We will give you the support you need and help to get the best result possible. Right now at 3, an armed off-duty L.A. County Sheriff's deputy is shot and killed on a Fontana golf course. What his relatives and neighbors are telling us today. Uncertainty and overwhelming pain across the island of Maui. Recovery teams are still going through the ruins as a death toll tops 100. And targeting their tires, residents in one L.A. neighborhood say their parked cars have been vandalized for months, costing thousands of dollars. The NBC4 News at 3 starts now. Good afternoon, I'm Annabelle Sedano. We begin at 3 with fed up Highland Park residents. They've been the target of vandals who have punctured the tires on several cars over and over again for months. NBC4's Ted Chen spoke with victims who are hoping to get help from the city and police. This is like literally bleeding us dry. Doug McLean says he doesn't know how to stop it. He and his wife have been repeatedly victimized in their Highland Park neighborhood. Their tires punctured four times in the last two months, and they're not the only ones. Through word of mouth and on neighborhood apps, his neighbors have reported the damage to their own tires. In the last time my wife got hit a couple weeks ago, it was 11 punctures to the sidewall, which means the, it's done. The car's, the, the tire's done. McLean says it's happening all over this neighborhood, resulting in tens of thousands of dollars in damage. And the most frustrating part, he says, is that people like himself are getting hit repeatedly. I know people like a sixth generation family from Highland Park down Monta Vista. They were hit four times in like a period of two weeks. McLean says the vandal or vandals appear to have been careful in avoiding cameras. He says no ring cameras or dash cams have caught the vandalism and there aren't any surveillance cameras on the streets. He says they've been trying to park their cars in different spots, but it hasn't helped. Every night my family goes to bed wondering if we're going to wake up to another a tire that we have to repair that we can't afford to. So it distresses over the top. I just want it to stop. That's just, I just want it to stop because we can't afford this anymore. In Highland Park, Ted Chen, NBC4 News. And McLean says he's notified the elders. Tony Shin is live in the neighborhood where the deputy and his family lived. And Tony, you spoke with one of the relatives. What can you tell us? That's exactly right, Annabelle. As you can imagine, family members are simply devastated. Now, this all began inside this home you see behind me. This is the deputy's family home. This is where Fontana police say the off-duty deputy fired his gun inside this home. And then he left the home where witnesses say he started a commotion. Excuse me, ma'am. Can we please talk to you? She told us her name is Margarita and identified herself as Deputy Alejandro Diaz's mother-in-law. In Spanish, she said she is in bad shape because they killed the father of my grandchildren. A family member then told her to stop speaking to us and she went inside the home. This is where a neighbor says he saw a commotion involving the off-duty deputy. He appeared to be intoxicated. That's what I gathered. Bill Harris says he saw Diaz struggling with family members in the front yard. They jumped on him and he fell. And then he, um, I, I thought I heard keys hit the ground, but it wasn't keys, it was a gun. Um, and not knowing anything, I just took my family inside. The NBC4i team confirmed that Diaz may have fired shots inside his home and possibly outside as he was leaving. The home next door...